Hey, this is Lee, WW2DX, and I'm here with Scott, WU2X, and we're going to do a little, uh, little demo of um, the uh, iPad uh, running um, a remote desktop client called, oh, there's the iPad, it's a 32 gig Wi-Fi model, and uh, it's running a, a remote desktop client called uh, Jump from the App Store, and uh, we are connecting over to Scott's main desktop here, this uh, five gigahertz insane uh, machine in the back there and we're just doing a remote desktop session on the iPad and we're running the Yezu um, remote um, app that they have for the, P for, the, for the 2000, what's it called? It says PCC for FT2000. Okay, so we're remote desktoped in and um, we'll turn the, the volume up a little bit. Well actually we can technically do it on the app itself um, but we haven't actually figured out the actual uh, uh, finger gesture uh, to do that, but if we come up to the app here and we look at the radio, we're at 14243.8, 14, so why don't you go ahead and change your VFO. Uh, actually, I'll switch bands with okay. the band buttons. All right. Just click this, the band button. All right. Wait, is it lock on or something? Oh, there you go. So the, the band buttons are 14, yep, and then I uh, want you to spin the VFO. Oh, you get a double tap. Double, double tap. Can you get a, yeah, I got them both, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it's perfectly, pretty, almost real time. It's just, it's actually like spinning the real VFO knob with your finger. The S meter. Yeah, here's the S meter. The S meter action is really pretty crisp. Pretty much every button that's available on the front panel is available. I mean, I could press the power button. I guess I'm not real good at locating the buttons here with my finger. There you go. You didn't have any trouble turning this thing on. There it is. So, pretty much every button that's available here is available on the app, and they, they all work over a remote desktop. One thing I was playing with is pretty cool is you can you can zoom in. How come that thing is? Why is it drifting like that? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, let's do. Uh... Did, you do it, did it lock it in the place? Yeah, you locked it over oh. there. Yeah. All right. There it is. Okay. <laughs> that worked. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it's kind of neat because it's almost like a one for one thing. You can see that Yezu really tried to make the app look just like it, but. What's really cool is like, if, watch if I turn this VFO knob. Yep, I got it. Of course, it's too bad it didn't. Sh it doesn't show this. Spin. The knob spinning, right? What's interesting is when you turn like the volume knob. You actually see it, yeah. If you look right here, you can see. You look, you'll see the actual volume knob change as he's turning the real knob. That's pretty cool. But when you turn this knob, it's like. Hey, look, the real knob's turning. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. And let's check the sub VFO knob. Can we try this one? We never tried this no, one. No, is it moving though? It should be double tap. It should do the right thing, right? Let's see, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah it works there. That, so. That's working. Yep. There, there you there go, you got it. Yeah. That one works. Sub receiver. Oh, there it is. Boom, yep. That's cool. Anyway, pretty cool demo. Neat for if you're around the house and you're running remote remote desktop on your FT2000. That's pretty cool. That's as small as it gets. That's you know, it. To carry around, carry your radio around the room. That's right. And uh, of course, with the current version of um, the iPad OS, doesn't support multitasking yet. But the next version, you can actually put this in the background, run a Skype client, and actually be anywhere in the world and just remote in with your iPad and, and, and work the world. So that's coming not too far off. Hope you, hope you enjoyed the uh, video and uh, maybe we'll do a couple more here. I'm uh, Lee WW2DX and Scott W2X and uh, 73.